Welcome. Today I'm going to tell you how to take photographs with the Kodak Bullseye using the Holger Mods bits. When you buy the, the pack from Holger Mods, you get two things. First of all, you get this, which is a complete take up spool. And it's modified so that you can get a 120 film in there and fit the spool inside the camera. You also get two plastic ends. You get this piece and this piece. And Holger Mods recommend that you get a spare 120 take up spool and you glue the ends to this. The reason being that these two pieces have very small plastic inserts which can break off. And so you're safer just to have a permanent spool with the Holger Mods ends. So you have these two spools and you have your 120 film and the next problem is to get the 120 film into the feeder spool which requires a two-stop operation. The first thing you have to do is transfer the film onto the take-up spool or another spare spool and then take it back again so it ends up on here with the, the, lead, the lead from the start on the outside. So that's a bit of a fiddle and you've got to do this in the dark, but let's, uh, let's see how it goes. I've got a rather well used test film here and I'm going to use the take up spool to put it onto. And you can imagine I'm in the dark, but if it was in the dark it wouldn't make for much of a, a video would it? So. Just make sure that you keep the film tight. And that when the actual, this is the backing paper, when the actual film itself starts to appear, make sure you don't touch it with your fingers, which is easily done. You just keep your fingers on the outside of the roll here. As I get towards the end of the film, something happens, which you have to be aware of. Just keep going there. There's the, the film, the end piece of the film, which just flips around and sits onto the spool, which is fine, but on the way back we're going to have to watch out for it. In the meantime, I'm just going to finish off taking this across. So now we have the 120 film at the end point sitting on the take-up spool, and we need to get it onto the feeder spool. This is the, the one piece spool that Holger Mods provide. So we do the reverse. Again we've got to be in the dark and we put the film through the take up spool and start to wind it back. And this is where you have to take care, because as you do this, you're going to get to a point This is still backing paper. But very soon, and there it is, that's the actual film. So if you just ignore that, you're going to end, you're going to end up with the, the film loose and not behind the backing paper. So keep your thumb, because you're in the dark here, when you feel the film coming just feed it underneath the backing paper and then it's straightforward just take it to the end of the roll. So now we've reached the position we want to be to start shooting film with our camera. We have the 120 film at the starting point sitting on the Holger Mods feeder spool and the Holger Mods take up spool ready to receive it. Now a couple of points about the take-up spool that you need to be aware of. The first thing is that it has a slot which goes right through the middle for the feeding the leader of the film. But also there is this brass rod that when you put it in the camera this has to go through the centre as well. And I found a couple of times when testing that the, the leader of the film jams this and you can't get it in. So I just put use a bit of sellotape to fit the film on. 
you compare it with the, the original spool from the camera, the slit actually is such that the film can go through the slit without going through the middle hole. But it's not a big problem, just use a bit of sellotape. The other, other issue which you might find is that the spool assumes that the, the camera has a, a take up of two pieces like this, whereas in fact If you can see this, but this little thing that goes into the, the bottom of the take-up spool has got three little knobs. And the Kodak take-up spool has three little holes. The Holger Mod spool is obviously designed for a slightly version, later version of this camera which reverted to two prongs. Not a problem. Now I don't know what your opposite of craftsmanship word is, but mine is hack. And I hacked three holes into the side of this so that it will fit onto the three prongs here. So I mounted my take-up spool with my three-hole modification onto the, the three prongs here and I've screwed in this so it's ready to accept the film. On the other side of the camera I take my feeder spool with the film on it, pull down this bar here, and that's the film into the camera. Uh, it <coughs> tells you here to put the film under the crossbar, so I always do what Mr. Kodak tells me. Feed it under the crossbar, feed it over the rollers, on the back. And here's a good thing to notice. At this point, see how much smaller the film is. This will have uh, two things to be careful of. First of all, when you look through the viewfinder, what you see in the viewfinder is not what you're going to get on the film. You're going to get something smaller, so allow for that. Take a, a, wider, a wider view than the actual shot that you want. The other thing is that when you, you wind this on, you can't use the standard numbers 1 through 12 because it needs more than that to cover this space. You get about seven shots out of a roll. So we need to be aware of that. Take the film, feed it under here. And now it's time to, to put some sellotape onto this reel. So we have the film on the take-up spool and at this point you would probably put the camera inside the box so it's light proof. But well, I'm just going to wind it on with this test film. Until we get to number one. There we are. Kodak one. And at this point, I'll fold this over here. put it into the box, close it up, and that's number one, you probably can't see it, but number one is showing through here. <coughs> now you do this in order to get to the start of the film. As I said before, from this point on the numbers mean nothing because you'll be winding it more than the, the standard length. And because modern film has a different light sensitivity, there is a danger that having this Cover this open can give you slight fogging over time. So once you get to number one, put a bit of black tape across here so there's no light coming in and go take your shots. Here's my first shot and Holger Mods recommend that after the first shot you should wind on two and a half times. So that's half, one and a half, two and a half. Take the shot. And then for the second frame you wind on two and one quarter times and then for all the subsequent frames you wind on two times. Uh, and that will give you I think round about seven shots. I'll find out when I go out and shoot. You'll know when you've finished shooting the film because you'll hear the, the loose film at the end sort of clack and come free. So I've finished shooting my film and here it is 
sitting on the Holger Mock take up spool. I unscrew the metal bar, pull it out. take out the film. Now, if you are going to process this film yourself, you're good to go now. But if you're going to send it away, you obviously don't want to send it away on your, your lovely Holger Mods reel. You've got to get it back onto an ordinary 120 reel. Yeah, you've guessed it, you've got to go through the rewinding thing. So, back in the dark, put this in here and wind it back onto a reel. But then you're at the starting point, so for completeness you might want to get another reel and wind it back so that you end up with the, this closed tab here. You can seal it all up like an ordinary film and send it away and come back and be amazed by the shots you've produced in your more than 100 year old foot camera. So I'm going to go away now and put a fresh film inside here and go and shoot and then we'll come back and see what the results are like. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the process, please leave them below. Thank you. Bye bye.